friends, welcome to Testimony Tuesday. Recently we were down in Bangkok visiting some friends and I got this idea that I really wanted to go to the certain part of town where Jonathan and I had actually lived before we were married. We had lived in a couple of different apartments there while we studied the Thai language. And so it's kind of like this reminiscence of a familiar place and it was something that it was just like, I want to go there. It would be fun. It would just be exciting. It'd be so cool to go back to where we lived. So I was getting all this like hyped up in my mind. Like, oh, it'd be so much fun to go like to the point where it was like not going. It wasn't really an option in my mind. So anyway, we got to one afternoon and Jonathan and I decided to go. We were going to buy a couple of things and I was really excited. I was like, it's been so long, I want to go back, it's going to be so neat. And we went. And we got there. And, you know, we went to one place and we got what we needed there. And then we went on and we went somewhere else. And it was just interesting. It was like, you know, I was all excited about coming here. But then once we got there, it was like, I don't know, it was just every day like it usually was. I mean, there wasn't anything exciting about it. It just seemed kind of mundane. And I was like, it's kind of disappointing. You know, I was all excited about this. And then it turns out it's like, it wasn't really that exciting. It wasn't really that much fun as I'd hyped it up to be in my mind. And so I was thinking about it as we were going to another place in town and we're driving around on the motorbike. I was just thinking about it. Like, there's gotta be a lesson in this. And I think there is. As I was thinking about it, I realized my focus had not been on being content where I was at the moment already. I had been focusing on something in the future that I thought would be so fun, so grand. And then when I actually got to do that, it really wasn't that grand at all. And I realized if my focus had been on enjoying the present and being content with what I had, at the moment, it's more likely that when I had, that I, it's more likely that I would have really enjoyed that trip to where we used to live. Like, if I hadn't hyped it up to unreasonable, you know, amounts of how fun it would be, I probably would have actually thought it was really fun. But because I'd like dreamed about it and thought about it and hyped it up in my mind, it was not reality. And so when I met reality, reality wasn't all that great. And it just made me think about how I really need to focus on what God has given me today and here and now. You know, I could dream about having a tiny house. I think tiny houses are cute and they might be fun to live in. But I can dream about that and then be discontent with what I have here. And most likely if I ever got to live in a tiny house, I wouldn't think it was half as great. Whereas if I focus on being content with where I am now, maybe someday if I got to live in a tiny house, I would think it was grand because I wouldn't have all these high unrealistic expectations from dreaming about it. You know, this applies to mission work too. I remember when my family was gonna come to Thailand, I had dreamed about how wonderful and how fun it was gonna be. And the truth of the matter is when we got here it was nothing. Like it was not thrilling and exciting and wonderful like I thought it was gonna be. Whereas in other circumstances where I've just been more content with what God gives me each day, I find a lot of joy in the different places he has me go and things he has me to do. So don't keep dreaming about the future and grand things that you could do for God or the fun things that you could do or the adventurous things you could do maybe in another country. Look for the joys, look for the blessings where you are today in what you can do now to serve God and just in everyday things in life and you'll be a lot happier.